Hello everyone, this is Yang Sang Cho, the founder of Jadam. In today's episode, I would like to elaborate you how to create the most successful organic garden. As we all know that global food crisis is at our doorstep. Therefore, I believe it is time to start our own life gardening to protect our own food, life, and our family from possible hunger. According to the Global Trend 2040 held by the National Intelligence Service of the United States, a food riot could occur worldwide within 10 years due to the problems such as global warming and food crisis. An IMF International Monetary Fund has declared a severe food crisis in 48 countries around the world. Furthermore, President Biden hosted the first food security conference in 50 years. In addition, local counties are in danger of low population due to aging. You might think growing a couple of veggies is enough, but you have to consider that veggies are also very important food to us. I strongly urge you to actively participate in sustainable organic gardens to become a self-sufficient for upcoming future. Just because I said this doesn't mean farming will be suddenly become easy. In fact, many people face difficulties they never expected when they start organic gardening. Firstly, there is a major problem of organic farming which is the weeding, pest and disease control. Then the next problem is the using machinery. And Jadam is here to ease all of these problems. Many people think if the soil is healthy, crop will be growing without any pests and disease problems. But the truth of organic farming is far more difficult than what people usually thought of. Because we are not farming native and wild seeds. The seeds that you get from the store is bred to suit the taste of human. Our will and tongue made bananas, strawberries to be much sweeter, softer, and larger, and easy to eat. And those planted first-gen seeds have zero experience to defend itself. Therefore, organic gardening or farming cannot be continued without any pests and disease solutions. Jadam is one of the most well-known company in the field of self-making natural pesticides. And with the base of this information, we have shared all our journey from soil to fruit on YouTube, which will upgrade your life of gardening. This is the website that we have been running since 2003. If you have further more questions, leave a comment on the bulletin board, or you can leave a comment below for any question on this video. And this is our first book that is translated into English. It has about 700 reviews with close to 5 star ratings and it is now distributed globally throughout Amazon.com. This is another book that we have published 2 years ago. It focuses on pest and disease control in detail. Apart from these, we have been working hard to translate the books into 20 different languages. And those books are going to be uploaded on Google Play Book Store. So shall we? Now begin with the organic gardening. The picture you can see is my farm. It is about 650 square meter size. You can start with 600 square meter, but it is not so mandatory. You can start small from 60 to 100 square meter. The size of the land doesn't mean you are not capable. Quality matters, not quantity. Once you be able to control all the pests and disease, you'll experience happy farming. The size of the land in this picture is about 80 square meter and there are about 40 to 50 different crops. Which means in this small size of the land you can have tasteful organic vegetable for your family. After harvest, you can rather dry it to make it powder shake or you can quench the vegetable for the future food. It is one time harvest in a year but you can have it for whole year. It is not very necessary to farm such diverse number of crops. I farm lot of kinds because I'd like to test my Jadam natural pesticides on different kind of crops. And because of my habit of researching, my family also loves to help me farm. This is a tiny house that we have built with my friends. It is tiny but we have made beautiful surroundings. We built it because we wanted to showcase how organic gardening could be peaceful and lovable. 
One unique part of this house is that it has a compost toilet. Many people worry about the smell, but if you mix 1% of the any starch into sawdust, there is barely no smell for weeks until it is disposed. And later, you can also collect those human feces to make your own compost, which means you don't have to rely on purchasing the compost. Collect all the feces in one place for three months to make compost out of it. And because of the starch, there is barely any smell. If you learn how to do all Jada methods, I believe you can overcome the difficulties on different crops for organic farming. Not just vegetables, it also means fruit trees and more. And one of the most interesting thing is the strawberries. We all know that strawberries are a perennial plant. But in fact, many farmers pull out once the harvest is completed. However, with Jada methods, the strawberries are producing for more than six years, and every year the yield has increased compared to the past years. The pest and disease control on strawberries are not very difficult, and it is our first crop to be harvested in a year. Not just strawberries, we tested Jada method on lettuce, cabbage, and small radish for kimchi, paprika for barbecue, and broccoli for salad. And the world's most favorite plant consumed potato is also haven't had any difficulties to produce. Not just potatoes, we can also farm sweet potatoes and more. Farming cucumber in an open field is known to be pretty hassle. But with Jada method, you can farm it all. And one of our favorite is the chili pepper. It is most basic yet, but most confusing plant to grow, which we are the best producer in South Korea. High yield comes when you be able to master the Jadam technology. And Jadam technology is simple. So let me tell you how to solve all the issues with Jadam methods. First, the weeding. The problem of weeding comes with the plastic mulching that lasts for a year, which means after harvest, it is mostly destroyed. And the other problems are the high temperature inside of the mulching, then the ventilation of the field. The purpose of mulching is simply for weeding, but mulching causes problem due to heat. To solve this issue, we have chose to use landscape fabric, which is breathable material and lowers the high temperature. Although the price is higher than the normal plastic mulching, but you can use it for more than 10 years, and some are even much more durable that can last about 20 years, which is similar to the lifespan of the solar panel. It helps the soil by creating the shade on the soil that leads higher expansion of active microbes inside the soil. As a result, the landscape fabric helps the roots to reach even deeper and makes better soil quality, which leads to the high yield. So let me show you how to make the beds first. Prepare some powder, which could indicate the line of the field. The width of the bed should be 1 meter 30 centimeters to 1 meter 60 centimeters. We'll first create drainage on each bed. To create the bed and drainage, we'll use the machine just once to protect the softened soil. And this structure is going to be permanent. We are not going to use rotary machine forever after this first construction. Many of us learned that tilling soil is necessary ever after harvest and before planting in order to mix the compost with the soil. But surface application of the compost is good enough. You can simply scatter and spread the compost then cover with the landscape fabric. When you have completed covering the bed with landscape fabric, now it is time to use the white marker to make indication where you are going to make a hole for the crop. Use the string then stretch it up and mark the string with the 30 centimeters gap. Then cut the fabric along with the indication. But do not cut it cross because it will loosen all fabric at the end. And before planting, germinate your seedlings into leaf mold soil mixed water. Diversity of the microbes in the seedlings roots will prevent the possible disease occur in the future. Then use the narrow hole to plant the seedlings. Once you have completed planting, then next step is the watering. You can use the irrigation hose to do this, but for the vegetables, it is much more convenient with sprinklers. Sprinkle water about 15 minutes with one, two, three days term depending on the weather. And sometimes you can also mix the JMS along with it. 
as I just mentioned about the no-till and surface application on the bed of the crops. Let me show you how it usually done. After harvest, pull out the fabric, then put it on the side. Once the harvest is completed, your soil needs to be reorganized. After that, scatter the organic compost on the surface of the bed, then spread firmly with the rag. Many people think the soil will harden if it is not tilled. But by using Jadam microbes and compost, the soil stays soft enough. Then later, it should be performed once every harvest, and in Korea, it happens only twice in a year, one in May and the other one on September. We have uploaded other videos on how to make beds for the fruiting crop, so you can have a look on that too. Apart from just lettuce and other vegetables, how are we going to deal with the root plants such as radish or carrots? It will be quite hassle if we try to plant in between the fabrics. So to plant root plant, we will just cover the fabric for about 15 to 20 days before planting. Then the weed inside will not be able to get photosynthesis. Eventually, the seeds won't be able to sprout. After 20 days, when you uncover the fabric, you could see the bed is clean from the weed. Then organize the bed with the rag, then create a line with 30 centimeters interval to plant. You might get worried what if the weed grows back again, but the root plant such as small radish grows quicker than weeds as it is all eliminated, which leaves no space for weeds to grow because all nutrients were absorbed by the plant itself. So in this way, the crop will not going to have nutrient competition with weed. And the next thing we want to talk about is the organic pest and disease control. One of the most interesting part of Jadam's natural pesticide is that it won't have negative effects on human. It is safe even if you inhale or mistakenly spray on your face. Moreover, we know that people worry about the spiders and bees, but it won't heavily affect them. When you start farming, Soon you will realize that there are a lot of circumstances with pest and disease problems. However, don't try to view the problem with microscope. Just simply focus on two things in farming, aphid and powdery mildew. If you have enough capability to control aphid, means you can control almost all pests. And if you have enough capability to control powdery mildew, you can be confident controlling diseases as well. Aphid is the one of the major problems to farmers, but to us, it is just piece of cake. By utilizing simple Jada method on aphid and powdery mildew, you can control almost all problems. And we have uploaded all the detailed videos on drips, anthracnose, and aphids on YouTube. All the methods of mixing ratio is also published in our book. We are having seminar after three years due to COVID-19. In the seminar, we are going to release our new recipe that does not need a water softener. Also, we will now prepare for the world tour as well for the next year. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.